hello guys hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is joy white thank you so much for stopping by please if this is the first time you're checking on my channel kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you okay guys in today's video we're going to be learning how to cut and sew a six pieces skirt yes how to cut and sew a six pieces skirt and this skirt is going to be having a tail at the center back region okay guys so i have like three and a half years of ankara fabric here and i folded it into four as you can see we're going to be cutting both the front and the back together and cutting this is pieces skates we're going to be cutting the center panel for the front and the center panel for the back together the center panel for the front and the center panel for the back together so what's the first thing i'm going to do is to determine a nipple to nipple measurement so the nipple to nipple measurement i'm working with is eight inches so it's divided by two that gives us what four inches so i'll go ahead and add half inch to it to make it 4.5 so the first thing i'm going to do is to take the hip measurement so the hip i'm working with is nine inches as you can see i'll go ahead and put down the nine inches like so so the next thing i'm going to do is to take from the waist to the knee so what i have there is 21 inches you can use 20 inches it all depends on your measurement so i'll go ahead and rule it that's the knee and this is the hip line okay guys so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do that's the waist go ahead and rule it as well so the next thing i'm going to do is to take on the waist part there i'm going to be taking 4.5 remember the nipple to nipple is 4 inches so i'll add half inch for joining allowance i'll put 4.5 on the hip i will put the same 4.5 inches but on the knee i am going to be taking 4 inches for the knee i will remove half inch and take 4 inches okay guys after doing that i am going to move my fabric forward okay so on the hem i am going to be taking 10 inches on fold 10 inches so when you open it up it will be 20 inches so from that hem i am going to be connecting it to the knee where i have that 21 inches there for the knee i'm going to connect it like so and rule it okay guys so at this point i'm going to come over to the upper part so now i'm going to be connecting what i have there I'll be connecting from the knee to the hip point. I'll go ahead and connect it. Then I will connect from the hip to the waist point. Alright guys, so now at this point we are going to be taking the hem measurement. So remember we are cutting both the front and the back together. So now I will take my fabric up again. I'm going to go over to the hem. I'll go over to the hem. So at this point, I'm going to measure what I have on that point there now. I'm going to measure what I have on the hem now. So I'll go ahead and place my tape and measure what I have there. So whatever I have there, I'm going to be dividing it into two. So whatever figure I have, I have 17.5 there now. So I'm going to divide it into two. And when I divide this, I'm going to be having... 8.75 yes i'm going to be having 8.75 so i'll go ahead and put it down 8.75 like so so i will extend this down 8.75 i'm going to mark it till i get to the point where it will extend to the hip to the knee line sorry to the knee line so after doing that i am going to connect all the lines together what i have there i'm going to be connecting it the 8.75 mark So guys, at this point, we have been able to cut out the center panel for the front and the center panel for the back. So we are going to be cutting out the side panel for the front and the side panel for the back. So now the waist I'm working with is waist 35. So 35 divided by 4 will give us 8.75. So I'm going to be adding 2 inches to that 8.75. That will make it worth 10.75. So remember we have removed 4 inches for the center panel for the front 
so i'm going to deduct that four inches from that 10.75 what i have left is 6.75 so i will approximate it what to seven inches so what i will do now is that i will divide that seven inches into two which is 3.5 i'll place my tape on 3.5 like so to centralize it and i will mark it the 3.5 3.5 that is the seven inches that i have that is for the waist so i will come over to the hip remember the waist to the hip is nine inches i'll put it down then from the waist to the knee is 21 inches so on the hip i'm going to take that 3.5 i have on that waist i'll put it down i'll come over to the knee line i'll put down that 3.5 again and i am going to connect it i'm going to be connecting it okay guys so i went ahead to extend the line for the hip and for the knee so the waist measurement like i said is seven inches i put down the seven inches so now i'm coming over to the hip the hip i'm working with is hip 44 so 44 divided by 4 we give us what 11 inches and remember we have removed four inches for the center panel so i'm going to be deducting that four inches from 11 so what i have is seven inches so seven plus two inches remember for seam allowance is nine inches so so you see the way i'm placing my tape i'll place the nine inches on that 3.5 line i marked there from there i'll place it and take my hip the hip measurement the nine inches so now i will connect it what i have from that hip to the waistline then i will get my curve and connect from the hip line to the knee line okay guys so after connecting it what i will do next is that i will go ahead and get my tape to measure what i have on that hip line so this is what i have i have my nine inches correct i will come over to the knee line and place my tape yes that means i removed one inch from the knee line so if you want yours to be very tight at the knee line you can remove more than one inch from that knee line you can remove two inches if you want it to be very fitted there so at this point i'm going to be connecting what i have now from that knee line to the hem of my skirt so i'll go over to the other side and do the same thing and connect it to the other side like so so now i am going to be cutting it out so after cutting it out this is what we have guys for the two side panel for the front and the side panel for the back this is it we have been able to cut it out so now we're going to be concentrating on the center panel for the front and for the back this is the center panel for the front and for the back so i'll go ahead and extend the knee line to the back so now at the waistline i'm going to be taking just one inch for the zipper allowance so i'll go ahead and mark one inch like so down to the knee line i'll be marking that one inch then i will connect it So after connecting it, here is what I'm going to do. On the waistline, I'm going to come in with half an inch like so. I'm coming in with half inch for the board contouring. I will mark from the waist to the hip, which is nine inches. So from that half inch I came in with, I'm going to connect it to that zipper allowance line, the first line I marked. So I'm connecting it to the hip line from the half inch i came in with half inch on that waistline like so so now i will come over to the knee line so on the knee line i'll open it up so that you see it on the knee line i am going to come in with 0 0.75 or one inch i come in with one inch what i will do now is i'll put i'll mark it down place a mark on it so now i'm going to be connecting from the hip line to the knee line like so so this is just to contour the butt area so that's why i'm taking in one inch you can as well take in 1.5 if you want it 
to be more fitted on that area so at this point now from that line i marked i'm going to be taking my new zipper allowance line now so now i'm going to be marking out my one inch for the zipper allowance area so now this is me marking one inch taking one inch from that line i took not from the first line so this is watch the way i'm placing my tape so i'll connect it now so this is my new zipper allowance line so now i'm going to be connecting the one inch i have not the first one inch the new zipper allowance line so at this point i'm going to be connecting from the knee line to the i'm extending it now to the hem of the skirt so after doing that at this point i'm going to be cutting it out so just watch the way i am cutting it on that new line now so this is my zipper allowance line i'm cutting on now the one inch i added for the zipper allowance okay guys so after cutting it out this is what we have the center piece for the center panel for the back this is the center panel for the front so at this point i'm going to get my lining and cut it right away okay guys so i've cut out my lining remember we said we are doing the full lining for this six pieces skirt so i've cut out the lining for all the pieces the side panel and the center panel so this is the center panel and that's the side panel so what i will do next is that i'm going to be using the half an inch we brought out to be joining i'll be using half an inch to join i'll open up the center panel like so and place one of the side panel on it and use half an inch to sew down so i'll do that on the fabric and i'll do the same thing on the lining piece as well okay guys so i've joined all the sides for the front and for the back so now what i'll do next is that the lining is going to be one inch shorter than the main fabric so i am going to be removing one inch from the lining piece i'll go ahead and mark one inch round for the front and for the back i will do the same thing as well i'll be removing one inch one inch from the lining piece so after doing that i am going to be cutting it out okay guys so at this point i finished cutting it out so i'm going to be joining it now place the lining on the fabric like so making it equal i'm going to be joining using what half an inch to join from one end to the other end and i'll do the same thing for the back as well so guys this is what we have after joining the hem of the skirt and i've gone ahead to press on it this is the back for the front and the back i've pressed on it so at this point what we're going to do is to take the measurement we are working with so remember the waist i'm working with is waist 35 so the next thing i will do is to go ahead and measure what i have 35 divided by 2 we give us 17.5 so i'll go ahead and put down the 17.5 then i will go over to the hip the waist to the hip is 9 inches that's 9 inches the hip i'm working with is hip 44 so you stretch the skirt and take the measurement so i'm going to be taking the hip measurement like so i'll put it down on both sides then the next thing i will do is to connect it i'll be connecting from the hip to the waist from one end to the other end as well then the next thing i'm going to do after that is to connect it from the hip to the knee line so when i'm getting to the knee line i will bring my hand out a bit because i don't want it to be too tight on the knee line so i bring my hand out a bit and the other side I will go ahead and do the same thing connecting from the hip to the knee line i'll bring my hand out a bit so i also went ahead to fold the band for the skirt so the band i have here is 1.5 on fold is 1.5 so the next thing i will do is to fix the zipper and fix the band then i'll show you what our skirt looks so like. guys here is the final look of our six pieces skirt with back extension or you can call it with tail this is what it looks like very easy and simple to make so guys if you find this tutorial helpful kindly hit on that subscribe button 
and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video like and share this video make your comment till our next tutorial again you'll be doing something else thank you so much for watching